friends a very warm welcome i am back with my next angular js tutorial it's the tutorial number 4 in the last angular js tutorial we learned about controllers and expressions in angular js let's see what we will learn this time around we will learn about angular js filters and the various angular js filters available to us now let's learn what are angular js filters Filters can be used to format data or select a subset of items from array and return it as a new array. Filters can be added to expression by using the pipe character followed by a filter. Example, first name followed by a pipe character followed by uppercase filter. The uppercase filter above will display the value of first name in uppercase. Now let us look at the various AngularJS filters available. The first one is uppercase filter. Uppercase filter converts a text to uppercase text. Add uppercase filter to an expression using pipe character. Let's see how uppercase filter works. So this is the code that I'll be using for this tutorial. I have ng app and AngularJS application. Then I have initialized a variable using ng init directive employees. It holds an array which holds different employee objects. Each of the object has properties first name, last name and salary. Then I have a text box which is bound to, an, to a property filter value through directive ng model. Then I have a table which will display the values of each object inside the array employees. Now to use as you can see the first name property of each object has a value in lowercase. Suppose I need to display these values in uppercase. I'll be do, doing so by using uppercase filter. To do so I need to type in uh, pipe character then I'll use uppercase uh, filter so I save this page to the browser then I refresh my page so you can see all the first names have value in uppercase now Steven Steve Gilbert Now let's look at the next filter. It is the lowercase filter. Lowercase filter converts a text to lowercase text. Add lowercase filter to an expression using pipe character. Let's see how we will use lowercase filter to our advantage. Now you can see that all the last name properties have a value in uppercase. To display these values in lowercase, I'll be using lowercase filter. So I have a pipe character here, then lowercase filter. I will save my page. So here's my page. As soon as I will refresh this page, you'll notice that all the last names will be in lowercase. So here you can see all the last names are in lowercase. So this is how you can use uppercase and lowercase filters. Now the next filter is the currency filter. Currency filter formats text in a currency format. Add currency filter to an expression returning number using pipe character. Let's see how currency filter works. So here as you can see the salary prop salary properties of the objects hold values that are mere numbers and do not correctly represent salary so to format these numbers i'll be using currency filter so by using currency filter these numbers will be formatted and then displayed as a currency let's see how we do it a pipe character then currency I save it so here's my page 
as soon as I will refresh this page you'll notice that these salary numbers would be formatted to a currency format here you see we have the salaries in dollar currency now the next filter is the filter 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 is used to filter the array to a subset of it based on a provided criteria let's look how filter filter works now let's say I want to filter the values in the table based on the input in this text box I'll do so with the help of filter filter a pipe character then filter a colon then I'll have to mention the model property that is bound to this input control so I'll copy this I'll paste it here I save it now here's my page I refresh my page now when I will enter some value in this text box it will filter the values inside the table say I input a value Steve see how my records get filtered based on the value I input in the text box now Steven a single record is left so you see how filter filter is useful in filtering the values now the next filter is the order by filter order by filter orders the array based on provided criteria let's see how order by filter works suppose I need to order the rows inside the table based on salary of employees I'll be doing so by using order by filter uh, I have a pipe character then then order by then the salary property there I save my page so here's my page as you can see the rows inside the table are not ordered so in order to order these rows based on the salary in an ascending order I have used the order by filter as soon as I refresh my page you'll notice that the rows will get filtered will get ordered based on salary in an ascending order so you see I have all the rows ordered in an ascending order based on salaries of employees I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe, like and comment. I will be back with my next AngularJS tutorial soon. Until then, practice more and enjoy. Thank you.